In an effort to create a safer Kansas City, there is a new effort to revive the east side. And as 41 Action News anchor Kevin Holmes explains, it could also combat crime. Home is where the heart is. 32nd in Montgomery. And for Daryl Harden, this. I was, I was born in General Hospital right here. Is home. And after 40 years, I came back home. And I could have lived anywhere. I'm a retired vet. But I said, no, go back to the same community would raise me. A community Harden says has changed. We met him outside the Sunfresh on Prospect just days after a gunman walked into the newly opened grocery store and shot two people. The guns, okay? When we had a dispute, fist fight for a whole week until one of us got tired. And then we started loving on each other. Councilman Scott Taylor proposing an initiative to restore that love to the community and fight crime at the same time. We need to focus on the east side as much as we did on downtown 20 years ago, and this is a way to do it with this package. Taylor's $10 million proposal is an economic jolt in the arm. Giving the east side a little boost. And since nothing stops a bullet quite like a job, he says this Revive the East Side initiative could tackle a lot of the root causes of crime. Because if you can create jobs and investment, you create more connectivity, more activity. That's better for everybody that lives uh, in the city. If approved by city leaders, this initiative would create tax credits for business owners, encouraging them to not only set up shop in the community, but to hire workers who live there. You also need uh, the surrounding neighborhoods to benefit. Which is why it would also improve trash collection and establish a $10 million home improvement fund so homeowners won't have to look at boarded up homes and blight, all breeding grounds for crime. Taylor points to the success of recent investments in downtown, West Bottoms and River Market. So why not Kansas City's east side? Everybody in the city talks about how Kansas City has this momentum. Uh, we have the momentum, uh, but we need to do more on the east side. It would mean the world to residents like Harden. So they could see success to the left and to the right, same way I did when I was younger. Our thanks to Kevin Holmes for that report. Now, Taylor says this initiative would bring in about 16,000 jobs to Kansas City over the next decade. You can weigh in on that program October 10th at the council chambers. You can also go to the full council vote later that day. Taylor is running for mayor of Kansas City. He's among nine candidates running for the office.